Hello and welcome. One of the unexplored features of tally is payroll processing. Did you know that we can use tally for complete payroll processing starting from creation of employee records to generation of payroll reports like pay slips, pay sheet and even income tax computation statements? If yes, this video might not interest you but if the answer is a negative or if this topic is of interest to you or if you would like to refresh your memory then this video will definitely help you. Tally is primarily used by small organizations like MSMEs, audit firms etc. But I think only a few of them use Tally for processing their payroll. So I thought why not make a video on it and here it is. So let's start exploring this unexplored world of Tally. Initially I thought of making a single video but it was going to be a bit lengthy one so I decided to make a two part series. The first part is on initial configuration. Here we will learn creation of employee and pay heads like basic salary, HRA etc. We will also understand how to define income tax declarations received from employees about their ATC investment, house rent, other deductions etc. In the next and the last part, we will learn automatic payroll processing that is creation of payroll vouchers. We will view payroll reports and also analyze and understand the income tax computation statement. So let's start our journey with the initial configuration. From gateway of tally, click on create, select employee, enter the name of the employee in the name field. Select the employee group. If you would like to create a new group, you can click on create and select a new group. Groups can be anything like team, department, functions, etc. Here I have selected primary. Enter the date of joining of the employee in the date of joining field. Here I have selected 1st April 2021. Select yes under define salary details field. This will take you to a new screen salary details. In the effective from column, enter the date here I have entered 1st April 21. The next column is pay head. Here I have created 5 different pay heads. We will go through each of this and see how these pay heads have been configured. First let us select basic using keyboard shortcut control enter. Let us see the configuration of this pay head. Here enter the name under the name field. Pay head type is set as earnings for employees. Income type is set to fixed. Group it under indirect expenses. Affect net salary is set to yes. Name to be displayed in payslip. If you would like to have a different name to be displayed in payslip, then you can choose the name to be displayed in payslip. Here this is same as the name of the pay head. In the field used for calculation of gratuity, select yes because basic salary will be used for the purpose of calculation of gratuity. In the set or alter income tax details field, select yes. In the income tax component field, select basic salary, select on projected value in the tax calculation basis field, press enter and go back to the previous screen. In the calculation type, select on attendance. In the field attendance or leave with pay, select not applicable. In the field leave without pay, select the leave type that will be considered as leave without pay. To create a new type, use the keyboard shortcut Alt C. Here I have already created the leave type which is absent in this case. So let's use keyboard shortcut, control enter and see its configuration. It is configured under primary. Alternatively, you may configure it under different attendance or production types. Press enter and accept. In the calculation period, select months. Basis of calculation per day, select as per calendar period. Select the appropriate rounding method. Here I have selected not applicable. Press enter and accept. In the rate field, let's enter the basic salary as per the salary structure of the employee. Here I have entered 50,000. Now with respect to the remaining columns per pay head type, calculation type computed on, the value for these fields should be automatically picked up from the configuration screen. Now let's move to the next pay head, house rent allowance. Again control enter, here pay head type is set as earnings for employees, income type is same fixed under indirect expenses, affect net salary is set as yes, name to be displayed in pay slip is same as the name of the pay head, use for calculation of gratuity, 
have selected no because this will not be selected for the purpose of computation of gratuity. In the set alter income tax details field select yes. In the income tax component field select household allowance. Tax calculation basis would be on projected value. Press enter and go back to the previous screen. Calculation type is set as computed value. Select the appropriate rounding method. In the computation information section under compute field select on specified formula. In the pay head field select basic. Then in the effective from select the date here it is 1st April 2021. And in the slab type we have two options first is percentage the second one is value. Here I have selected percentage and the value is 50%. This means the HRA will be computed on the basis of 50% of basic salary. If you would like to directly enter the value, you can choose value in the slab type instead of percentage and enter the value directly. Here HRA is computed at the rate of 50%. You can configure according to your requirement like if you are paying 40% of basic then instead of 50% you can enter 40% and so on. Press enter and accept. Since HRA is based on computed value, we don't have to enter any value in the rate field. Now let's move to the next head special allowance. Control enter, pay head type is set as earnings for employees, income type is fixed under indirect expenses, affect net salary is set as yes, name to be displayed in pay slip is same as the pay head, use for calculation of gratuity is set to no, set or alter income tax details select yes. In the income tax component field select other earnings allowances fully taxable, select on projected value in the field tax calculation basis. Press enter and go back to the previous screen. Select on attendance as calculation type. In the attendance leave with pay field select not applicable. In the leave without pay field select absent. Calculation period would be months. Basis of calculation would be as per calendar period. Select the appropriate rounding method. Press enter and accept. Enter special allowance per month in the rate field. Here I have entered 30,000 rupees. Now let's move to the next field professional tax. Press control enter, pay head type is set as employees statutory deductions, statutory pay type is set as professional tax. In the registration number field enter PT registration number, here I have left it blank. Group it under duties and taxes, select yes under affect net salary field, enter the name to be displayed in pay slip, here it is same as name of the pay head. Select months in the calculation period, select the appropriate rounding method in the computation information section. And a compute field select on current earnings total in the effective from column enter the date. Since professional tax is a state specific statute rate of professional tax applicable would differ from state to state. In case of Karnataka there is no professional tax up to earnings of 15,000 rupees per month. If it is more than 15,000 then professional tax would be applicable at the rate of 200 rupees. Accordingly I have entered value 0 for amount up to 15,000 rupees and value 200 for amount greater than 15,000. You may select slab type and value as applicable to the state in which you are registered under professional tax. Press enter and accept. Now let's move to the last field TDS on salary. Press control enter. Pay head type is set as employees statutory deductions. Statutory pay type is income tax under duties and taxes. Affect net salary is set to yes. Enter the name to be displayed in pay slip. Here I have entered TDS. Calculation period is set as months. Rounding method is automatically selected. Press enter and accept. Now we have completed configuration of all pay heads. Select end of list and go back to the previous screen. Here under general information section, we can enter general details of the employees like employee number, designation, function, location, gender, date of birth, blood group, father's, mother's name, spouse's name, address, phone number and email id. Under provide bank details field, you can enter the details of the bank account of the employee if you wish to. Here I have selected no. Under statutory details section. In the applicable tax regime field, select the tax regime applicable, whether it is regular tax regime or the new tax regime. Here I have selected regular tax regime. Enter the PAN of the employee, Aadhaar number and universal account number of the employee. Next, if you are registered under PF, enter PF account number, EPS account number of the employee, date of joining. If you are registered under NPS, enter PR account number of the employee. If you are registered under ESI, enter ESI number and ESI dispensary name in the appropriate fields. 
press enter and accept. With this, we have completed configuration of employee as well as pay heads. From gateway of Pali, select alter, click on show more and select income tax declarations. This will take you to the income tax declaration screen. Under the exemption head, select house rent allowance to configure house rents paid or payable by the employees. Select the name of the employee. In the effective from column, enter the date. This can be either the date of joining of the employee or the first day of the financial year, whichever is later. In the monthly rent declared field, enter the monthly rent declared by the employee. Here I've entered 20,000. Once the employee submits proof like rent receipts, rental agreements, etc., we can enter the value in the proof field. Right now, I am leaving it blank. Select the place of residence, metro or non-metro. Here I have selected non-metro. Enter the name of the landlord. Enter the pan of the landlord. Name and pan of the landlord are mandatory if the house rent declared by the employee is more than 1 lakh for a year. Press enter and accept. Similarly, we can configure details relating to leave travel assistance, transport allowance, children education allowance, children hostel expenditure allowance by selecting the appropriate options. Next head is income declared by employee. Here we can configure details like interest on housing loan, any other income of the employee, etc. Here we have two options, single employee, multiple components, multiple employees, single component. As the names suggest, we can select the first option if we have to configure multiple components for a single employee. We can select the second option to configure a single component for multiple employees. Next head is deductions under chapter 6a, investments under section 80c, 80ccf, 80ccg, etc. Here we can define details like investments in insurance premium, public provident fund, housing loan repayment, tuition fees, etc. Let's select the option single employee, multiple components. Select the name of the employee. This will take you to the investment declaration screen. Here if you notice EPF and NPS particulars have automatically been filled up. Let us see what other investments we can declare here from the list of investments. Investments can be like uh, contribution to certain pension funds, housing loan repayment, insurance premium, national savings certificate, mutual funds, public provident fund, Sukanya Samridhi account scheme, term deposit with scheduled bank, tuition fees, etc. Here I have selected public provident fund. In the effective from column, enter the date. Here I have entered 1st April 2021. Enter the amount declared by the employee in the declared column. Once the employee submits proof, we can enter the value in the proof column. Next investment that I have selected is insurance premium. In the effective from, again enter the date. Enter the value declared by the employee in the declared field. Once the employee submits the proof, we can enter the value in the proof column. Here if you notice, total qualifying amount of deduction is 1,50,000. Press enter and accept. Next head is others under section ATD, ATDD, ATE, etc. Here we can define details like mediclaim insurance premium paid by the employees, interest on education loan availed by employees, etc. You may define the details according to the requirement. We have now completed configuration of income tax declaration. Select quit to go back to the main screen of tally. What do you feel about this video? Let me know in the comment section. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more videos on GST, income tax, tally, etc. Hit the bell icon if you wish to be notified of latest updates. Thank you.